Hey, this is Gary Baird with SellerEssentials.com. Uh, this is the second video in our series of videos to explain how we use OA X-Ray to help make our online sourcing more efficient. In this video, I want to focus on using OA X-Ray to uh, look on Amazon and do some reverse sourcing for a specific uh, type of product. You can do this with a brand. You can do this with specific types of products. Um, a lot of different things so there's a lot of uses for it um, on Amazon this is just one specific purpose um, if you know if you're interested in using this we do have a special uh, where you get uh, double the the trial period six days to try out OA x-ray instead of a three-day trial which they normally offer if you just go to oaxray.com uh, forward slash seller essentials you will be taken to this page and you can sign up under that tab and uh, you'll get the six days free to see if you really like it and if it will work for you and your business model. So let's see what I did here. Uh, I just went to Amazon, searched for board games, and just went and did a little bit of a filter. And I went down here and did a filter between 20 and 100. I'm not interested in the $10 board games or the $15 board games. I want something at least $20. So what I did is I just went through the first five pages of these and I clicked the OA X-Ray. So once you've downloaded OA X-Ray, you'll get this little blue icon with a UPC code looking thing and a magnifying glass over it. And you will just click that and it will pull up each of these tabs, you know, one per page. So once you pull up a page of products, you just go over here, click that button and it opens up one of these tabs and you do that as many times as you want. I like to do five at a time. Uh, it goes pretty quickly. Um, and with board games, I know from doing it in the past, you're not going to come up with a ton of green results anyway, any given day that you do it. So you're not going to have much to go through. So what I like to do, instead of just searching the positive ROI, which I've done in the past um, and some other videos, I like to search by ROI. I'm sorry, by sales rank. I want to see the things that are really selling well. The games that are really selling well. Even if they have a negative ROI, I like to know which ones are really selling well because I can track them and wait for price drops um, or I can track them and then when it comes time for Christmas time, you know, next quarter four, if the, that game is still selling well and the price jumps up, it gives me a list of products that I can go and, and source quickly uh, that potentially have risen in price for the, for the quarter four season. So, even though they're negative ROI right now, it doesn't mean that I ignore them. So you want to go through and, and look at these and, and see, okay, is there some place I can track them or multiple places where I can track them? Some of these games are, are carried at multiple stores. And um, when you combine the sales that some of them will have with, with coupon codes and discount gift cards and cashback sites and cashback credit cards, you can make some of these deals work, even if they're, they look a little bit marginal here. But for now, we're going to focus on just the positive ROI items. So let's do that. So we're going to hit the positive ROI. And you can see I've got a 4.33 and an 8.43. But again, I'm not necessarily going to buy these today at those ROIs. But at those ranks, they certainly catch my attention. So I can see this one here is selling for $38.98 on Amazon. They look like they stay in stock pretty well. Uh, they look like they were out of stock right in the middle of uh, the first half of January and the price spiked a little bit. Um, but uh, and this one is $29.97. Again, they look like they stay in stock pretty consistently. They have some out of stocks during the holidays, which is normal. Um, but you can see that they carry these products at, it uh, looks like the low price on this one is at eBay. And I'm not sure it's the actual, an actual match. Sometimes they'll find, you know, a listing where somebody's selling pieces of a game or parts of a, you know, of a product instead of the actual product. So you want to do, you do want to make sure that you're picking the new game and you want to make sure it's an exact match for what OA X-Ray has found. Um, in this case, if we go to Amazon, you can see that this is what it looks like. So we can, we know what we want to look for. This doesn't really look like, this looks like the base card, so that doesn't look like it. This looks like a match here, um, but we don't see any prices that are really going to be exciting to us here. So if we go back to OAX Ray, we can see that it's carried at Walmart, carried at Target, carried at Kohl's for $61 and change, Barnes & Noble, Kmart. It gives us all these different sites, Jet, that we can now track this product on. Um, 
we did see a spike up to around 40 bucks at Christmas time. If we can get this for 20 bucks um, on sale at any point during the year, if you're somebody who wants to medium term or long term hold products, or if you just want to wait till quarter four when it does spike, and this can be on your radar as something to buy. Same thing with this product. You can go any of these stores. Target looks like to be the lowest price here. You can go to Target and uh, track the product. It looks like a match here, looking at the pictures. Uh, you can go and track it and wait for it to drop in price. So let's move on to the next tab. Again, I like to do sales rank search. And you can see some of these are, are negative, but this one's negative and it's just 0.01%. So it's almost profitable. Um, if you can find a sale on it and this price happens to to uh, jump up like it did there in December and January. Um, doesn't give you a lot of window of opportunity on this one, so this is not exciting to me, but it uh, gives you some sites to track again. So let's check out the positive ROI. All right, we got an 89% ROI, but that rank is not super exciting. If this rank, if this ROI were a lot higher maybe, but uh, it's certainly not something that's going to make me too excited here. It looks like it's probably gonna be an older game. It doesn't look like something new. So it looks like something that we might be buying. Uh, actually, is it's a uh, wrapped in plastic here, it's sealed. But again, it's it have to be a much higher price for me to, or much higher ROI for me to be interested in that at that that sales rank. All right, so let's move on to the next one. I'm just going to skip the negative ROI ones and move on. Uh, so we've got a 76% ROI, 3,600 ranks. We've got a good ROI, good rank. Let's see if we have a match here. We've got the Settlers of Catan. I like no Amazon. You can see that Amazon's been out of stock since December. And looks like looks like a match. So let's check it out. See if they're in stock. Sometimes they're not in stock when you click the prices. And that's the case here. So what you can do if you're not using My Alerts, which used to be called Track If, if you're not using that, you should be. So go to My Alerts, and when you download if you go to MyAlerts.com, you'll download the, the app and it, it'll or the extension, and it'll have this little logo up here. It's got this little A with a little uh, Wi-Fi symbol or whatever that is um, coming off the left side of it. And you just pick your store where you want to track it. So I want to track this on um, Toys R Us. And I don't just want a price alert, so I'm going to click View and List and go to my list of products. And I'm going to check. And you can see I've already done it uh, with the 5 to 6 player extension pack at Toys R Us. Um, so I'm going to just go here and click this button that says send availability product sell availability alerts on this product. So when it comes in stock, I want to be alerted um, by my alerts. So that's a nice little tool. Even though I'm not going to buy that right now, it gives me something to uh, store away for later, for possibly buying later. So I don't know if this game is going to come back in stock or not, but if it does, I'm going to get alerted. So let's move on to the next next one here sales rank so we can see the first decent ROI is going to be this 58% at 24% again not excited about that um, but it gives me something to track so this Quelf game really strong rank uh, see Amazon's yeah Amazon's been out of stock a lot on this recently so this is actually not not too bad um, if you look at Kmart uh, with my luck with Kmart, they'll be out of stock on this. Let's see. Yep, <laughs> temporarily unavailable. So that's that's my luck with Kmart usually. But uh, you can certainly do the same thing with the track if and when you have it have it installed, it does this too, and you can just click that and it'll it'll bring up the same same thing that clicking the icon up here does, and you can track it and do the same exact thing that we just did. You get the price drop alert, but you're going to view and list, and again, you're going to get an availability alert. So if it comes back in stock, I want to know about it. And we're going to go here, and you can do the same thing. Toys R Us has it for $19.99. So you know, if they ran a sale for you know for 14 bucks or 13 bucks, you might uh, be able to pick it up and make some money on it. Um, e you can also do the email me when available option on these sites. Um, I believe I've already done it for Quelf, um, but I'll just do it again. And it'll send me an alert if and when that comes back in stock. 
so that's those two and then our last tab we haven't found anything to buy yet so when we do these live sessions sometimes you just don't find anything but uh, eventually you will and it's a whole lot faster than doing it manually like we used to so for sales rank again we've got some really good ranks but some negative ROIs so you'll want to go through those and and check for some stuff worth tracking in this case we have absolutely nothing with a positive ROI so um, tonight's sourcing session was a bust for something to buy but we did find a few things to track so that wasn't a total loss and I would continue to go through this list I wouldn't stop at page 5 uh, you go you know 10 20 pages deep and you might only find two or three things but uh, it's gonna take you way less time to do that this way using OA x-ray than it ever would um, doing it manually so hope this was helpful to you um, again if you are interested in uh, trying this tool out oaxray.com forward slash seller essentials and if you're looking to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get alerted to more of these videos when they come out uh, click on the SE logo in the bottom right hand corner of the of the video right now and subscribe uh, for more great resources and tools and tips be sure to check out selleressentials.com have a good one